We are at the Pensions and Benefits UK 2017 and I'm sitting with Phil Blows. How are you today? Very well, thank you. How are you? I'm great. I'm loving this conference. Are you enjoying yourself? Yeah, it's been really good. Some, some really good attendees and uh, yeah, picked up some really nice contacts. So yeah, it's been good. So Phil, what do you do? I'm the sales director of a company called um, Wealth Wizards. Uh, we specialise, we're a digital financial advisor that uh, effectively goes into the workplace and delivers financial advice to employees as an employee benefit. Sounds pretty simple. Why would someone choose you? Uh, I think really the main reason people choose us is they've identified that there's a problem with their workforce, that they're not saving enough, potentially they're, they're worried that they're going to be a, they're going to hit the point of retirement and just not retire. So um, they're looking to add a bit of a service to their, their benefits package, which makes it really, really simple for people to get a hold of their finances, plan for a comfortable retirement, and then take the action they need in order to do so. Do you believe that Wealth Wizards innovate? Definitely. Um, we were the UK's first um, online financial advisor back in 2009. Um, we're still the only provider of digital um, financial advice at the point of retirement. It's a massively complex um, a bit of advice that we've and, and technology that we've built. So I think innovation is absolutely at the heart of what we do. And you seem to enjoy it. Yeah, absolutely love it. It's uh, it's a great mission to be on. You know, by 2020, we hope to have improved the financial well-being of about a million people. I think that's a fantastic uh, goal to have as a business. So yeah. Tell me, what do you believe was the most challenging project that you've ever engaged? Uh, there's always a segment of every workforce who simply don't want to engage. You, the moment you mention the words sort of savings or pensions, there, there's a huge sort of mistrust that comes in. Yeah. And the fact that we're a financial advisor, I think there's a lot of people who, who maybe are rightly so at times, are wary of financial advisors given what happened in 2008, 2009. So I think as a general challenge, overcoming that initial kind of mistrust of the financial industry might be one. I think we get around that quite well because we're seen more as a technology company um, and people, although they don't have much faith in finance, have a lot of faith in, faith in technology nowadays. Um, so I'd say in terms of in that, in that vein, I'd say we've had some particularly tough employers. Uh, we've had to throw the kitchen sink at getting people to engage in their finances, but generally we've been, been, we've been very, very successful. So, Tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, I was uh, born in London. Uh, I was a geologist when, uh, when I, of training when I was at university okay. and um, spending a bit of time in, in Greece. Okay. Um, but no, I've, um, I've always worked in finance and technology since then, uh, both here and in Switzerland. And um, yeah, I've got a, a wife, no children unfortunately. And um, yeah, I've um, enjoying back being, being back in the UK, which I have been for about the last 18 months. And what do you like to do, you know, your hobbies, interests? Uh, well, it used to be rugby, but I'm a bit old and broken now for that. <laughs> so, um, it tends to now be like, like triathlons, okay. something a little bit less uh, exactly yeah, physical good. contact, I think. Yeah. And uh, yeah, probably probably going out for the occasional, uh, maybe too much wine and beer, probably occasionally, and okay. eating at nice restaurants as well is always good. So, yeah. What is your one year goal for the future? Uh, I think I've got a, a couple. I mean, the, the, the main one is with the business. Okay. Yeah, we're trying to grow at least add a, another 20 employers to our business book in the, ne in the next year or so. So, I mean, that, that's going to be a, probably getting towards 100,000 people that we're going to get through our, through our software. Um, so that, that's going to take up a lot of my time. Um, outside of that, I think it's just like doing up my house, trying to settle back into the UK a little bit more. Um, yeah, so that would be my, uh, that would be my, my main goals, I think. Wonderful, thank you so much for talking to us and good luck for everything else. Thank you very much. Thank Pleasure. you.